All right, here we are again, Facebook family and friends, Pastor Bobby D. Hamilton, you know what it is. It's Move Monday. Oh, yes, it is. It is that day that we have set aside to encourage each other to simply move. As you can see, I finished my sunrise seven, seven miles. Now, maybe you can't run seven miles or, or run seven minutes or even think about it for seven seconds, but today you can move. This is all about the activity, the physicality, and us making those moves that we need to make. And especially if you come off the heel of this big incarnation celebration we call Christmas, I know many of you have been with cakes and cookies and pies and snaps and daps and blue bell and yellow bell and everything else. And I'm just trying to say it's time to move. Okay, you don't hear me, so I need to call names, okay? Uh, Aiden Ray, move. Savannah Ray, move. Little Miles Ullman, get up, Miles, and move. Oh, Raven Hurst, it's time for you to move, my sister. Oh, Dale Thomas, get up and move today. Sonia Thomas, get up and move today. It's your day to move. Deacon Merle Bowler, move. Lisa Bowler, get up and move. I encourage you to move today. Sharon Lovelady, get up and just start doing what you need to do. And that is put your right foot before your left foot and just start move. Or maybe you can't move today. Maybe you can do one calisthenic. Or maybe you can do one push-up. Maybe you can do one arm raise. Maybe you can go to the pantry and pull down some of them Van Camp's pork and beans and curl them three, four, five, six times. That qualifies as a move. But whatever you do, today is that day we've set aside to just move. No longer going back and forth to the refrigerator trying to see is any more still there you know it's not there you ate that on saturday but this morning i encourage you to get those walking shoes that you got for christmas get that brand new outfit you got and all those new year resolutions that you've already uh, premeditated upon i ask you to start today and just ambulate do something that qualifies to get a sweat on to get an intentionality on and just move oh that's more than that because you still, you still don't hear me still don't hear me karen mcgaskey i encourage you sister to get up and just move deacon allen get up and just move take your dog bobo and you and bobo go out and walk and just move and as i'm saying these things this morning my mind was just marinating marinating on yesterday's message because i'm still chewing on it on the fat of that word on the idea about living in the making it by making it in the not yet and i talked about that's that messy middle time between what you have and what you hope for and i just kept thinking about that all morning thinking about the idea of process and how the lord uh clothed himself in human flesh and he became from a baby to a grown man and, and it was a but it was a process and many times we as believers we don't like process many people have fallen away from the lord and, and many of you are, are contemplating falling away from the lord and you are highly frustrated because god has you in process and i remember what i said yesterday because i left just just chewing on that driving home and the idea that 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 if you rush the process you won't want the product that if you rush it you're going to want to have to return it. And some of you have buyer's remorse. You know what that is. When you get something that you thought you had to have and you, and you went and got it, and now you just wish that you could return it. Oh, my goodness. That may work good at a, at a retail store, but it's not good for relationships. Relationships with people or with God Almighty. So I want to encourage you today, man. Just let the Lord keep you in process. He's maturing you. He's growing you from glory to glory. It's hard. I know it's hard. It's hard for you. It's hard for me because we want some stuff and we want it now. But the Lord is not just about our wants. He wants us to mature into what he's called us to be and to do. But, but, but let God mold you and shape you and work on you and work through you. Let God pull down all that nastiness, all that measum. Let God just, just prune you. It's a pruning process and pruning hurts. Oh, yes, it does. But you know what? The aftermath, the fruit of the pruning yields forth a harvest, yields forth a greater bloom and blossom. And that's what we really want in our lives. This ain't just some, some preacher talking, just platitudinal statements. It's a reality. God has you in process. It doesn't mean you won't write that book. It does not mean that you won't step into that ministry position. It does not mean your marriage won't get better, that you won't ever get married. It does not mean that fact you won't be at the top of the organizational chart. It doesn't mean that. It just means right now, right now, right now, you 
You got to be able to live joyfully and peacefully in your not yet. Go on to YouTube, YouTube, and pull that down yesterday's message about making it through the not yet. It's out of Luke 2, 39 through 40. Go and pull it down. Look at it, review on it, memorize, meditate on it, and pass it on to somebody else. And if the Lord says the same, I'm going to see you on New Year's night at Friendship at 7 p.m. May God bless you. May God keep you. May God use you. But most of all, may you move today. It's your day. Oh, I'm going to sit down now. I have moved enough. Have a good day.